Just look at the number of hot sparks that fly off with every strike. Those sparks are about 5,500 degrees Fahrenheit or about 3,000 degrees Celsius and a rod like this has over 20,000 strikes in it, making it the most reliable fire making tool you should have in a survival pack. It's called a ferro rod. I've tested out many on the market and my favorite is made by a company called Uberleben. They're not a sponsor, but they do make a great product that I highly recommend. I'll put a link down below if you wanna get this model. It's a really great tool. Now, if you've never seen a ferro rod before, it feels like holding a piece of metal. It's pretty hard and dense and it's made up of elements that spark when you strike it. Now, every manufacturer has a slightly different recipe, but in general, a ferro rod is made of about 50% cerium. Cerium is one of the two elements that spark when you shave off tiny pieces. Those pieces react with oxygen in the air and heat up very hot. It also has the other element that sparks when you strike it, which is iron. Usually they're about 19% iron and they're about 25% lanthium. Lanthium is a metal that's soft. You can actually cut it with a knife. It also contains other minor elements such as magnesium and a few others. As you can see, it's a great fire starter. All we need is some tinder. We can put those sparks right in there, heat it up and make a fire. I really like this kit because you don't want to lose your striker here. It's on a leather thong and also connected to the rod. So let's get some dry material and I'll show you how easy it is to make a fire using the fire rod. So to make a fire, you do need to catch the sparks with some dry tinder. Here I have some cattail fluff, some paper from a wasp nest and some dry grass. We're gonna hold our rod right here and strike down and those sparks will ignite all this material. First strike and it's going. That's great. Now we're just gonna ball this up and blow some oxygen and make a fire. That's so amazing how quick it was. Awesome method. So in the last few videos, I've shown you many different ways of making fire, everything from friction fire like the bow drill and hand drill to the solar fire and the fire piston. But by far the most reliable is a good ferro rod. I'll put a link down below to my favorite that helps out my channel. And as you can see, it's a great way of making fire. Woo! A good way to get burned too. Thank you so much for watching. I still have several videos on different ways of making fire. Leave a comment down below if you like these videos. Then I'm gonna go on to different survival skills like flint napping, making bows and arrows, and other methods. I really enjoy sharing these different methods with you. So keep watching and stay tuned.